Hello, this is your sweet Princess Ilka and this is Creation of Mankind. Yet another chapter and this is about love and alliances. So for most of the part people want to be connected to anybody or someone, at least one person. Most of the people actually wish to, you know, have a friend. If they don't have a partner or when they have a partner, they still wish to have um, a bond with someone else or maybe many but at least one why is that well the situation is that we are forever that matters which doesn't however you wish to explain it we are needing to create intimate relationships and intimate relationships means that you are open so what everybody longs for, no matter if or when they establish any of that, is to be open within themselves and not to be diminished by another. I said accepted, but also not to be diminished. We long inherently in, in any part of our nature, although the brainless and the heartless don't really notice and recognize it, but we all need to bond with another person. That's why you're so lame and sucking blood, because you need it no matter what. You wish it so much that you're willing to give up on yourself. And by that is only when you're not really true to your very own spirit, purpose, whatever you name it, whatever you call it, you're not really true within yourself when you're not true within yourself you can't connect and that what you so intimately inherently wish and that is having a bond with someone you can actually trust someone who will never hurt you is someone to trust and it doesn't matter from my perspective if this person has the same taste like you do but that is something you wish to overlook within these fake alliances you create that the taste in music or in clothing or in any type of sports team or what or religion or politics makes a difference because there you don't need to look if you wish to know you don't need to search within you just put the badge on i'm a girl scout i'm a boy scout or whatever that is the badge from that ever group you have and you continue being a delinquent and a delinquent you are when you're not honest and you're a delinquent to others, to yourself, especially to your children and to God. You wish to create a bond where someone says you're cool. And that, although you might share the same purpose and the same taste and many things, what really matters is the inside. Not automatically because he likes the clothing I do, he loves the music I do, she, whatever not, likes her hair like I like it. Does that mean that you actually have a bond? You might temporarily come closer physically to join the same club. That's why there is triple A or Alanon, which is Alcoholicos Anonymous, but not the ones who are the alcoholics, but the codependent, usually like the wives or husband, because they don't want to be alone, because they want to be continually looking at bad and evil, whatever addiction that might be from that person they are with, and continue nourishing this shit. I don't want to talk about football teams, but what I want to say is that you wish to be acknowledged and inherently you, when you not connect within yourself, but because of some outer space, some team, but not, you might probably also hate that person or the people around you because they don't ever give you what you need. That's the acknowledgement I am making in this little video. They never give you what you need because you're not open to receive what you need because you don't give who you are. So you're all superficial, artificially making some connections with is never ever a bond and there's nothing to do with emotion. It has all to do with fear. 
the fear of abandonment, the fear of being alone, but it's not connecting. If you wish to be acknowledged for who you are and you wish to be never be hurt and damaged by anybody else, first and foremost, you must not hurt yourself and offer exactly that what you wish to receive, openness. And of course, I know it by experience, it's very hard when there are only bitches and shits around you. We'll take your very word and one day I may say, yeah, cool. And the next day I hate you in the back or stab you in the front or punch you in the face. Take that what you now call a weakness against you. Here I am and I receive you, but well, you just are way too habited to stab in the back and punch in the face and use people. And that's why you're used, not all, but pretty much all use me for your own purposes don't even notice that there is someone in order to create relationships and even love you must be open that means you must look within yourself and that takes a little bit of time and lots of courage you have no clue how easy it is to be with me but like i said just start any relationship by shooting at me and you make me look really bad like i'm some kind of horrible asshole you make me feel like I'm a shit on the earth. I'm the biggest fat shit on earth. And I have to sit there and you poop on me and poop on me. You don't even stop. You do it for hours on end, for days on end, sometimes for weeks or months on end. And think you're right. So proud of yourself. Anyhow, it doesn't work this way. You must stop the lie. And I forgive. You see, if you made a mistake, I forgive you. But you must forgive yourself. That means you must having the strength and the courage to actually go there and look at it and overcome that thing and say, shit, I didn't do the right thing. Now I'm going to do the right thing. But many of you don't have the courage. Oh, the strength. I have given it to you. That's why my suffering. But you're still lazy. Maybe a way to, you know, deal with whatever that is your hardship has been in a way which is totally negative and you think you're the only one there is no one who had so much hardship as i had in life and you can't understand it because it's all in the feelings so you must be honest with yourself you must become honest with yourself and that's the point when you're honest poof, it doesn't matter if you have found your how truth yet honest that's the path to so go get honest and then if you want to actually engage with anybody you can never ask for the person to give you what you need without offering the same to them and that's just paying attention to that person you want to engage you have to look what that person needs at the moment that's all that's the simplest way because you can stop focusing on your negativity and can start looking at someone else and just that minute of attention will bring your whole world in rhapsody, will bring the pragmatic ways of acknowledging and pigmenting your life with love and a higher vibration energy. It's so fast and quick, you have no clue. But you can't get with a predetermined agenda to anybody ever, ever, never, ever, not even when it's your husband. Because then the stuff becomes boring and annoying. Then you want to change the person because you didn't change the inside. You didn't look. Honesty, that's the path to God and true love. <laughs>